Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. In this video, we are going to derive this uh, straight line equation which is known as the point slope equation. So, what does this mean? So, this is the equation if we have a given point and the slope, then we use this equation to determine the straight line equation, right, for a given point and for a given slope. So, let's say that uh, we have given line let's say and that given line is has two points let's say that it has one point let's say somewhere here let's say that point is p which has a coordinates of x and y and similarly let's say that here we have point p1 which has a coordinates of x1 and y1 right so if we are given the slope of this line Right. So, then we know that the slope is represented by m which is equal to the rise divided by run. Right. So, now if I draw a triangle here. Right. So, this is the rise of this line and this is the run. Right. So, we normally represent the rise by delta y that is the change in the y coordinate divided by the change in the x coordinate. Right. So, this is the rise and this is the run along the x axis as we move along the x axis this is the positive x axis and this is the positive y axis. So, when we move along the positive x axis so that is known as the run and when we move along the y axis that is known as the rise right. So, let us say this is delta y and this is delta x or in other words we can say that the change in y coordinate is known as the rise and the change in x coordinate is known as delta x right. So, now we can write that this slope m will be equal to delta y. So, what will be delta y? So, the change in y coordinate. So, the change in y coordinate will be y minus y 1. So, I can write that delta y is y minus y 1. And similarly, delta x will be equal to the final value of the x coordinate minus the initial value of the x coordinate. So, that is x minus x1. So, we will write that this is x minus x1, right. So, now we can write that delta y is y minus y1 and delta x is x minus x1. And if, if I multiply, if I cross multiply this is m divided by 1 if we cross multiply like this so then we will have y minus y1 and m into x minus x1 and we can write that this is y equals to y1 plus m x minus x1. So, this equation is known as point slope equation for a straight line. Now, let us say we, we are having this question, right. So, in this question it is said that write an equation for the line through the point with slope this, right. So, the given data is the slope is given which is the negative slope. So, this is minus 3 divided by 2 and the point given is we can write that x1 and y1 the given point is equal to 2, 3. So, this means that x1 is equal to 2 and x y1 is equal to 3. So, now if we use this equation, right. So, according to that equation, we can write that y equals to y1. So, y1 is 3, right. So, we can write that this is 3 plus the slope is minus 3 divided by 2. So, I will write that this is minus 3 divided by 2 and x minus x1. So, x and x1 here is 2. So, we can write that this is so, we can simplify it. So, this is y and this is 3. And this will be minus 3 divided by 2 into x and this will be minus into minus plus and 3 divided by 2 into 2 will we will get plus 3, right. So, this will give us y equals to if we, re and we, if we rearrange this. So, this will be minus 3 divided by 2 x and this is plus 6, right. Now, we can find this equation in another way around right. So, how we can do it? So, the negative slope means that the line will be making an angle 
uh, in the clockwise direction right so let's say if i draw that line which is represented by this information right that the slope is minus 3 divided by 2 and the x and y is 2 3 right so let me draw that graphical representation of that line which we are required to find the equation for that right so let's say that this is the x axis and this is the y axis so the line is passing through point 2 and 3 so this is x equals to 2 and somewhere here is y equals to 3 right so the line will pass through this point and it has a negative slope so the negative slope if a line has a negative slope and it is passing to this point so that will be represented like this and this clockwise slope is this is negative slope right and let's say if this angle is alpha then the relationship between the angle and the slope is equal to m is equal to tan alpha right so this is the negative slope so this is passing through that point this is that x1 y1 which is equal to 2 and 3 and somewhere here will be that arbitrary point let's see or uh, we can say that let's say somewhere here is that point and let's say that is x and y right somewhere here is point x and somewhere here is that point y so again we, we can use that concept that we have just learned we can write that that slope which is equal to change in y divided by change in x right so now change in y will be for this particular case the change in y will be uh, the final point minus the initial point right so if the line is going like this so this will be the final point and this is the initial point so we can say that this will be y1 minus y so i will write y1 minus y divided by x1 minus x right so this is x1 minus x and we know that the slope is given which is negative which is equal to minus 3 divided by 2 so i will write that this is minus 3 divided by 2 and y1 is known which is 3 we can write that this is 3 minus y and x1 is 2 minus x and this is minus 3 divided by 2 so again if we cross multiply right if i cross multiply like this so then we will have 2 into 3 minus y equals to minus 3 into 2 minus x right so this will be 6 minus 2y or we can we can write it like this as well this is 3 minus y if i divide both sides by 2 right so we will have minus 3 divided by 2 into 2 minus x right so we can simplify this equation this is 3 minus y and this will be minus 3 divided by 2 into 2 so this will be minus 3 this will be minus into minus plus 3 divided by 2 into x so this will be 3 divided by 2 into x and we can write it as minus y if we add uh, if we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation so this will be minus 3 plus 3 divided by 2x minus 3 so we can write it as 3 divided by 2x and minus 3 and minus 3 so this become minus 6 and this is minus y and if we multiply both side of equation with minus 1 so this will become plus right if i write if i multiply both side by minus 1 right so we will have it as plus y and this will be minus 3 divided by 2x and this will be plus 6 so we will have that same equation right which we which we got using this equation right so this is y equals to minus 3 divided by 2 x plus 6 and using the graphical representation of that line we got that same equation that is y equals to minus 3 divided by 2 x plus 6 right and this 6 means that this is the y intercept this is y intercept 